Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we're offering this Mass for the memorial of St. Paul Miki and his companions, who in 1597, I believe, were uh, martyred, uh, crucified by the uh, Japanese government for trying to bring Christianity into Japan. And uh, St. Paul Miki was a uh, natural born Japanese, although some were Filipinos. There was one Mexican in the group who was also uh, executed. But uh, we offer this Mass for the Memorial of St. Paul Miki and his companions. And also we offer this Mass for, as I understand it, the more than 1,400 people who have died this morning from uh, earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. So we keep them in our prayers as well. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs St. Paul Miki and companions to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession we may hold with courage, even until death, to the faith that we profess. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, though the Lord, I have died to the law, that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, yet I live. No longer I, but Christ lives in me, insofar as I now even live in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me, and given me himself up for me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. <clears throat> Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those, Those who, who sow, sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the sudden desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, Carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those, Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. <clears throat> Alleluia. 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 Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. 
towards the gospel. May our sins be wiped away. This is the uh, end of the gospel of Matthew, where the apostles have come to Jesus and he is about to ascend to heaven. And now they have learned everything. They have been with him from the beginning. They have learned at his feet. They've seen his miracles. They saw him tortured and crucified, died and buried, risen from the dead. And now he's about to rise to his place in heaven. And God has put all power in his own hands. Now the, the apostles know the entire story. And it is at this point the entire story of our salvation. And it is this time that Jesus sends them forward to baptize all people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, to bring all people to God now that they know the full story of salvation. And we rejoice with that, that they did go forth and they spread the faith everywhere. They were the beginnings of the church which was then guided, although it was in Christ, uh, guided uh, as a Pentecost by the Holy Spirit. For the last more than 2,000 years, the Holy Spirit has been guiding the church and teaching us along the way and never leaving us to handle things on our own. And we are grateful. And today we're honoring, uh, in particular, St. Paul Miki and his companions who are bringing the faith to Japan and that was considered an invasion. And they were literally crucified for that. Um, they, they died on the hill. Uh, and St. Paul Miki continued to preach while he was being crucified, while he was on the cross, forgiving the people who had crucified them and asking that their blood would raise the faith of all people. And uh, much like our responsorial psalm where we said, those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. They were executed, they were crucified in 1597. And Christianity became very quiet in Japan at that time for hundreds of years. But in the 1860s, new people came to evangelize Japan and they found no sign of Christianity there until they established themselves. And then people started coming out. And they found that there were thousands of secret Christians in that area, keeping the faith quietly, but faithfully. The seeds had grown, and the seeds continued to grow. Those who sow in tears, they reap rejoicing. And I know St. Paul Miki and his companions are very grateful to God for what he has given to the people of Japan and to all of us. Let us not lose faith. When things get difficult, let us trust in God always and stay close to him no matter what. And now with confidence in God's love, we approach him with our needs and the needs of our world. For missionaries serving in foreign lands, may God grant them strength and compassion and fortify them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working to bring about peace and serve the needs of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer because of natural disasters, may the Lord provide what they need to restore their lives, homes, and livelihoods. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the continued blessing of God upon our faith community here at Our Lady of Lords and our friends around the world, and that our efforts to share the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray. pray. For all who have died marked with the sign of faith, that they may soon rejoice in God's presence for all of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We offer this Mass today for Lawrence Clay and for Patricia Bumpke, that God may embrace them, lift them up, and give them eternal joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we also remember today those 
more than 1,400 people who have died in earthquakes during a winter storm in Turkey and in Syria, that God may lift them up, give them peace, and give them eternal life, and bless their families and their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look with favor upon us, your children, and hear the prayers we ask this day through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified in your saints when they are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. Your mercy you give ardor to, your, to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth and sing a song, a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, by the power of and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice is offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul Miki and his companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom ye bestow all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Holy For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Yes. Lamb of God, yes. you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, gave life to the world, free me, let us, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Alright. <coughs> the body of Amen. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of The body of The body of Christ. The body of The body of The body of Amen. The body of The body of The body of Christ. What is passed down lips as fruit, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart. What has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please keep in mind our prayers of those people in Turkey and Syria who are suffering and dying, so many of them, and all the people around the world, including our own communities, who are suffering and who are dying. May God embrace them, give them healing, and bring them home to his heavenly kingdom. God bless, and have a wonderful day. <laughs>